Hey everyone, welcome back to another pack opening. I'm going to do another six pack of Guilds of Ravnica to continue my search for an Arclight Phoenix for my cube and to have some fun. So, here we go. Uh, I believe I also need an Assassin's Trophy. Who wouldn't want an Assassin's Trophy? So I'll be looking for that as well. Here we go. Pack number one. And uh, as I said before, I love Ravnica. So let's go through some of the common Sure Strike, Righteous Blow, Vettelkin Mesmerist, Honorary Goblin, Portcullis Vine. Never happened. That didn't happen. Deadly Visit, Iron Shell Beetle, Parhelion Patrol, Garrison Sergeant. That's the commons. Undercity Necrolisk, Hellkite Whelp, Discovery Dispersal, and an Overgrown Tomb. Great. Love the Shocklands. I will never turn those down. And you got a Guild Gate and a Token Guy. Cool. Next pack. Still haven't hit that Arc Light. It'll happen eventually. Got a Sure Strike. Collar the Culprit. Uh, let's still try to figure out how to do this the best way. A dazzling Lights, Fire Urchin, never happened again. Hitchclaw, Recluse, Parhelion Patrol, Boros Locket, Siege Worm, love it. Imagine that thing coming down the street at you. Goblin, Electromancer, got a Flower and Flourish. Got an Inspiring Unicorn, a Thought Eraser, and an Underrealm Lich. Mythic here for three, a black and a green. You got a zombie elf shaman. If you would draw a card instead, look at the top three cards of your library, then put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Pay for life. Underrealm Lich gains indestructible intent of turn. Tap it. It's a four three zombie elf shaman. Nice. I like it. And a guild gate and a soldier. Alright, so first mythic of the box, I think. I already cannot remember the other packs that I opened. Here we go. The Ornery Goblin again. Locks on Restore, Demir Informant, Spinal Centipede, Vigor Spore Worm, Notion Rain, Pause for Reflection, Reflection, Watcher in the Mist, Selesnia Yet Locket, Rock Charger, Sprouting Renewal, Wand of Vertebrae, and Atrada. The silencer. Two, a blue and a black. Oop, I got a got a foil there. Legendary creature, vampire assassin. It's a three-five. Etrada the silencer can't be blocked whenever Etrada deals combat damage to a player. Exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exile cards with hit counters on them. Etrada's owner shuffles Etrada into their library. Hmm. Once you win the game. You gotta get rid of her so that's a little bit for multiplayer there and we got a foil unexplained disappearance nice guild gate and a bird illusion next pack lid of guardian disdainful stroke barging sergeant spinal centipede crushing canopy Luminous Bonds, Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, Fresh Faced Recruit, and we've got a Murmuring Mystic, a Ledev Champion, a Goblin Banneret, and a Nullhide Ferox, another Mythic. This is a good card. Two and two green. Hexproof. You can't cast non creature spells. Don't even try. Pay two. Nullhide Ferox loses all abilities until end of turn. Any player may activate this ability, so you can try. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Nullhide Ferox, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. It's a 6-6 six, six hexproof fatty for your mostly creatures deck. Great. And we got a Demir Guildgate and an Insect. Great. All right. Couple more here. Got two mythics out of these six pack. I fully expect another mythic, and that better be Arclight Phoenix. 
Unexplained Disappearance, Cosmotronic Wave, Sworn Companions, Bartisan Bats, Portcullis Vine, Golgari Locket, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Vernati Shieldmate, Hypothesizzle, that's cool art. Let's see, we got a Boros Challenger, City Watch Sphinx, Crush Contraband, Crush It Down, and for the rare, a Runaway Steamkin, good. For one and a red, you get a creature elemental. It's a one one. Whenever you cast a red spell, if Runaway Steamkin has fewer than three plus one plus one counters on it, put a plus one plus one counter on Runaway Steamkin. Remove three one one counters from Runaway Steamkin. Add three red. Cool. Last pack, and then we'll add them up and see how I did money wise with the scanner. Skyline Scout, Wall of Mist, Wojek Bodyguard, Crushing Canopy, Barrier of Bones, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Blade Instructor, Sonic Assault, whoop, 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 getting ahead of ourselves, Golgari Locket, Crawl Harpooner, First Uncommon, Murmuring Mystic, Okran Assassin, and for the rare, a Swift Blade Vindicator. It's a red and a white. Human Soldier, 1-1. One, one. Got Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. Seems pretty solid. Let's pump that thing up and push on through. That's the Boros way, I think. Here we go. All right. We'll scan them up. Okay, we had two uncommons that were over 50 cents. We're gonna leave those on the list. Let's see how we did with our rares. We've got a Swift Blade Vindicator. 39 cents, I'm not gonna count it. Runaway Steamkin, $1.75, I will count it. Take that one off. Nullhide Ferox, 348, that one counts. Got a Nitrata the Silencer, 28 cents. Not gonna count it. Underrealm Lich, buck seventy-three, and an overgrown tomb, six thirty-eight. So we ended up with fifteen thirty-seven for all our cards that were over fifty cents. Just those ones right there, and I did not get an Arclight Phoenix. So tune in next time to see if maybe I do. Thanks for watching.